the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space was established in 1959 shortly after the launch of Sputnik as an ad hoc committee. In 1959, it was formally established by United Nations Resolution 1472-14. The mission of COPUOS is to review the scope of international cooperation in peaceful uses of outer space, to devise programs in this field to be undertaken under United Nations auspices, to encourage continued research and the dissemination of information on outer space matters, and to study legal problems arising from the exploration of outer space. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs UNOOSA, is secretariat to the committee. All documents related to the committee and its subcommittees, the Scientific and Technical Subcommittee and the Legal Subcommittee, can be found at the UNOOSA website. The United Nations' involvement in space-related activities can be traced back to the beginning of the space race. After the first man-made object orbited the Earth in 1957, the UN has focused on ensuring outer space is used for peaceful purposes. The launch of Sputnik marked the beginning of the space race as well as the beginning of satellite use for the advancement of science. As the Cold War began, fear of outer space being used for military purposes spread through the international community. This led to the creation of multiple organizations with the intent of governing how outer space can be used in order to assure it does not become the next frontier for conflict. Topic. History In 1958, the United Nations established the Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space which originally consisted of 18 members, Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Czechoslovakia, France, India, Iran, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Poland, Sweden, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the United Arab Republic, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and the United States of America. In 1959, the United Nations permanently established the Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space and grew to involve 24 countries Albania, Austria, Bulgaria, Hungary, Lebanon, and Romania. The main focuses of COPUOS is to promote cooperation in the peaceful use of outer space, and share information regarding outer space and its exploration. In 1962, the two COPUOS subcommittees, the Scientific and Technical Subcommittee and the Legal Subcommittee met for the first time and continue to do so annually. Topic. Treaties and agreements COPUOS oversees the implementation of five UN treaties and agreements relating to activities in outer space. Outer Space Treaty the Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies. Rescue Agreement. The Agreement on the Rescue of Astronauts, the Return of Astronauts and the Return of Objects Launched into Outer Space. Liability Convention. The Convention on International Liability for Damage Caused by Space Objects. Registration Convention. The Convention on Registration of Objects Launched into Outer Space. Moon Treaty. The agreement governing the activities of states on the Moon and other celestial bodies. Scopuos also keeps track of the following other international agreements relating to activities in outer space. General Treaty Banning Nuclear Weapon Tests in the Atmosphere, in Outer Space, and Underwater NTB. Convention relating to the distribution of program carrying signals transmitted by satellite BRS institutions agreement relating to the International Telecommunications Satellite Organization ITSO. Agreement on the establishment of the International System and Organization of Space Communications INTERSPUTNIK Convention for the establishment of a European Space Agency ESA Agreement of the Arab Corporation for Space Communications ARABSAT 
Agreement on Cooperation in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space for Peaceful Purposes INTERCOSMOS Convention on the International Mobile Satellite Organization IMSO Convention establishing the European Telecommunications Satellite Organization UDLSAT. Convention for the establishment of a European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites EUMETSAT. International Telecommunication Constitution and Convention ITU. Topic. Concerns about ratification and enforcement Both the former USSR and the USA engaged in an arms race, including weapons systems functional in low orbit altitudes. U.S. President Ronald Reagan termed it Star Wars. This raised serious concerns. Space based weapons are explicitly banned, however, several nation states with the capacity for satellite launch are not members of the NPT, and have had a poor record on disclosure of weapons, particularly of concern is tendency toward nuclear ambiguity, and how such policy may affect the current treaty. In 2017, with the reports of sonic attacks, on U.S. staff of diplomatic missions in Cuba, the ban on space-based weapons systems is again on the radar. Topic: Near-Earth object deflection and disaster response. The Association of Space Explorers ASE, working in conjunction with B612 Foundation members, helped obtain UN oversight of near-Earth object NEO, tracking and deflection missions through COPUOS along with its Action Team 14 at 14 expert group. Several members of B612 and ASE have worked with COPUOS since 2001 to establish international involvement for both impact disaster responses, and on deflection missions to prevent impact events. As explained by B612 Foundation Chair Emeritus Rusty Schweikert in 2013, no government in the world today has explicitly assigned the responsibility for planetary protection to any of its agencies. In October 2013, the UN Committee approved several measures to deal with terrestrial asteroid impacts, including the creation of an International Asteroid Warning Network IAWN, to act as a clearing house for shared information on dangerous asteroids and for any future terrestrial impact events that are identified. A UN Space Missions Planning Advisory Group SMPAG, will also coordinate joint studies of the technologies for deflection missions, and as well provide oversight of actual missions. This is due to deflection missions typically involving a progressive movement of an asteroid's predicted impact point across the surface of the Earth and also across the territories of uninvolved countries until the NEO has been deflected either ahead of, or behind the planet at the point their orbits intersect. Schweikert states that an initial framework of international cooperation at the UN is needed to guide the policy makers of its member nations on several important NEO-related aspects. At about the same time, October 2013, of the UN's policy adoption in New York City, Schweikert and four other ASE member, including B612 head Ed Liu and strategic advisors Dimitru Prunariu and Tom Jones, participated at a public forum moderated by Neil deGrasse Tyson not far from the UN's headquarters, urging the global community to adopt further important steps towards planetary defense against the threat of neo-impacts. Their recommendations included UN delegates briefing their home country's policymakers on the UN's newest roles. Having each country's government create defined asteroid disaster response plans, assigning fiscal resources to deal with asteroid impacts, and delegating a lead agency to handle its disaster response in order to create clear lines of communication from the IAWN to the affected countries. Having their governments support the ASEs and B612's efforts to identify city killer. NEOs capable of impacting Earth, estimated at about a million, by deploying a space-based asteroid telescope, and 
committing member states to launching an international test deflection mission within 10 years. The first meetings of IAWN and SMPAG were held in 2014. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Member States. The committee was first established by the General Assembly in its Resolution 1348-13 of 13 December 1958 and was originally composed of 18 members. It has grown to include 92 members as of 2019, and is subsequently one of the largest committees of the General Assembly of the United Nations. The evolution of the composition of the committee is as follows. Topic. Permanent observers In addition to the committee's member states, a number of international organizations, including both intergovernmental and non-governmental organizations, have observer status with COPUOS and its subcommittees. The following is a list of the committee's observers, with the year they were granted that status. Topic. Bureau The following is the Bureau of the Committee for its 61st session, which ran from 20 to 29 June 2018. Topic. See also List of government space agencies